Hey everybody and welcome to the bullshit party! Ho, ho, ho. And in this one we're gonna be taking a close look at the new vehicle, the Overflow Zeno. As always we're gonna be taking a close look at its exterior, interior, the way it customizes handles, performs and all that good stuff in Los Santos Customs. And ultimately I'm gonna be telling you if it's worth it. And also I'm gonna be sharing with you some details about the vehicle on our way there. And uh, throughout the video. And with that it's time to do our 360 view around the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. First off, this vehicle is based on the SSC Totra, which is a hypercar. And I'm sure you could have already guessed that by the looks of this vehicle. But all in all, I can't really complain about the exterior of it. I think it looks awesome, and in terms of interactivity, this is what you can expect, you can expect from it. You can open both doors, the hood, and the trunk, which is located in the front, because it's a rear engine vehicle. But all in all, as I said before, I can't really complain about anything regarding the exterior of the vehicle. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. The sell price of the vehicle is, well, we're gonna check that in a bit, but it was close to $2 million, which is kind of expensive. Speaking of expensive, let's see what the sell price of the vehicle is, just to be sure, because this is an informative video after all. Actually, it's close to $3 million. It's $2.8 million new. And uh, yeah, I paid almost $3 million for it, so hopefully it's gonna be good. But uh, enough with the exterior and the price of the vehicle. Let's jump in and see what the interior looks like. And this is the interior of the Xeno. And uh, hmm, I gotta say, I believe this is the, uh, the only interior for the vehicle, meaning that it's uh, unique to this vehicle. So it, that's, uh, that's kind of cool. As for the way the vehicle sounds... Not bad, but kind of on the generic side. And with that, it's time to go to Los Santos Customs to customize this bad boy. But before that, let's see what type of drivetrain we're dealing with here. And it should come to no surprise that this is a rear wheel drive vehicle. Who would have thought? And with that, we're off to Los Santos Customs to see what we can customize on the Xeno. And on our way there, I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of it. First off, we're not gonna be going to the agency, no, 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 because we don't need to. This vehicle cannot have any extra armor put on it. So, going to the agency is just gonna be a waste, and there's no real point to that. So, we're not gonna be going there. We're gonna be going instead, as I said, to Los Santos Customs. And uh, I can't really give you a real-world impression of what the vehicle feels like because, as you can see, the ground is covered with snow, so uh, just take that into consideration. But I think the vehicle feels very, very good. Um, the brakes are decent for, you know, for having being, you know, s snowing everywhere. And uh, acceleration is, from what I can tell, good. The traction is good. Keep in mind that it's snowing, and this is a rear-wheel drive vehicle, and all in all, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing here. I believe it, uh, the, if the roads were clear, this vehicle would have performed very, very well. But uh, enough talk, let's, go, let's get in and uh, see what we can customize on it. Can the best mechanic in LS do and it should be mentioned that the Xeno is a part of the super car class category in GTA Online. As for its sell price, you can sell it for $1.7 million dollars which is a big loss, so that's a big no-no. And as always, first off, we're gonna upgrade all the performance options up front, this way we don't forget anything at the end, and you guys won't yell at me, hopefully. Transmission and turbo, and we're done. And starting off with the visual customization with the front bumper option, which uh, in this DLC means uh, basically the, first, the front splitter, the front lip of the vehicle, which uh, this vehicle... Uh, Yep, we can only uh, we can only adjust the splitter basically. Okay, let's choose this splitter and move on to the rear splitter. I mean the rear bumper. There we go. We only can choose splitters. No, ah, actually we could choose bumpers. I'm actually surprised by this. Okay, I think I like this one the best because it's kind of aggressive and also kind of um, hidden. As for exhaust options, these are all the options you can choose from. And uh, the weird thing is that even though I'm giving the vehicle gas, it doesn't seem to do anything. So 
we can't uh, that's kind of weird this is I, I believe the first vehicle that has done this usually when you press the gas pedal in los santos customs the vehicle revs and you're able to get the the smoke cleared from the exhaust but uh not on the xeno apparently oh well and as you can see if you want to spend 23 thousand dollars on an exhaust or 24 even you can do that on the xeno but since i don't want to do that i'm gonna go with the carbon exhaust for 750. hood options these are all the hood options you can choose from for the xeno and i gotta say so far i'm not really impressed with the level of customization and that's been a theme throughout this entire uh contract dlc leveries i mean leveries Ew, 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 I hate leveries. What are we doing in this uh, category? Oh yeah, I'm making a video. Okay, and those were all the leveries you can choose from. Mirrors. Well, that's cool, you can completely remove the mirrors of this one. Actually, this is, I believe, the first vehicle in GTA that has done this. Which is kind of radical. Cool. License plate, of course, yellow and black. As always, we're going to be respraying the vehicle at the end of our stand at Los Santos Customs. Carbon. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like this, so we're going to be doing that. Skirt options. Here are all the skirt options we can choose from. This looks kind of interesting. Hmm. I got to say, the skirt options are more in-depth than the... Uh, front bumper and rear, bu rear bumper options, which is kind of a shame. Okay, we're going to be going with this one because I like things simple. The uh, spoiler option, which uh, has to be said is the only visual customization that has any impact on the traction. Or uh, rather the performance of the vehicle. And uh, I kind of like... One second, I like this one the best so we're gonna be doing oh actually we can do it in carbon suspension we can lower the suspension of the vehicle which is what i will be doing because this is a well it's a real world hypercar but in this game it's a it's a supercar transmission turbo wheels i actually like those so we're gonna be keeping them see this is a shame because if you put tint on the windows it also puts tint on the rear window and you can't really um, see the engine as good as you normally could so I'm not gonna be doing that and the last thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be respraying the entire vehicle and for our primary color let's go with something matte you know what shafter purple it is secondary color matte again Ooh, ice white not bad trim color eh, let's go with silver and uh, I think we're ready for the outside. And here we are. The sun is settling, but that's okay because it is snowing after all. And this is what we have in terms of uh, visual customization. But how does the vehicle behave after fully upgrading it? Wow, that's a big difference. I can already tell, guys, the vehicle is insanely, insanely powerful. And it's a shame that Rockstar released this when it was snowing. Because I, I really can't uh, can't tell you exactly how fast it is, but I can promise you it's insanely quick. I can just tell by the the way the traction feels. Um, if this isn't the fastest car in its category, it's somewhere near the top. I can promise you that. It feels incredible. In terms of traction, it feels very good. In terms of handling, it feels very good. All in all, a very well-balanced vehicle. And keep in mind, this is a rear-wheel drive vehicle, and I'm driving it in the snow. Which, if you guys have driven in the snow before in GT Online, you know that it's really, really slippery. And uh, I gotta say, this has to be one of the best vehicles released in this DLC, if not the best. But I'll let, uh, you know, better, more in-depth guys tell you that. What I can tell you so far is that I really, really am enjoying this vehicle. And, uh, yeah, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. It has, e it even has cool, um, headlights. And how cool is that? And I actually think that's, uh, that's a good way to end the video. I really enjoyed this vehicle. 
Keep in mind that it does cost 3 million dollars almost, which is kind of pricey and it's one of the most expensive vehicles in the entire game, but hey, if you want something good, you better pay for it. At least that's my motto and I'm sticking to it. And with that, actually, with that, we're going to be ending the video. Thank you so much to everybody that watched. Hopefully, you liked what you saw. If that's the case, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We're trying to get to 70,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. Hopefully, we'll be able to do that. If not, oh well. 2022 is... Uh, we're going to be able to do that in 2022, I guess. But uh, in any case, I'm starting to ramble. Thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas to all. Happy holidays. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.